I can't do this. I don't need to be the Friar Tuck girl. I'm just proud enough to be that horn dog sister. <laughs> The iconic show Married with Children was known for its memorable intro featuring Frank Sinatra's Love and Marriage. Although Sinatra wasn't officially part of the cast, his music added a character of its own. The show's hilarity revolved around the brutally honest Bundy family, and Al's facial expressions still bring laughter. Despite a slow start due to Fox's early days, the show gained immense popularity, reaching a number 29 Nielsen rating in its sixth season, compared to 142 in the first season. Eleven seasons later, the Bundys and their politically incorrect adventures remain beloved. Now let's catch up with the cast and see what they're up to today. Let's rock! Ed O'Neill as Al Bundy I'm sorry. I can't believe they're gonna make me pay for this, Peg. Oh. Why don't you become a game show host? Contestant comes on and says, I want $10,000. You shrug, I come out and pay him, the game's over. We may go to Colombia. Uh-huh. Oh, you know, that'd be Sophia's great. where Sofia's from. Exactly. And uh, ba Barranqui or something like that, sounds something like that. Oh, mighty one in the skies who created the mountains, the sea, and beer. Could they have created a funnier lead pop than Al Bundy, played by Ed O'Neill? Ed O'Neill, known for his iconic role as Al Bundy in Married with Children, beautifully grounded the sitcom with his portrayal of the humorous yet beleaguered shoe salesman. Ed even fulfilled fan requests by recreating famous moments as Al Bundy, making special occasion phone calls in character, provided they were collect calls in keeping with Al's character. Before his acting career, Ed was a star football player and even had a brief stint with the Pittsburgh Steelers. In 1980, he had a breakout role in Cruising alongside Al Pacino. In the 90s, he found success in family-friendly films like Dutch and Little Giants. In 2009, he became part of the Television Hall of Fame as Jay Pritchett in Modern Family. Ed O'Neill is now 77 years old and has two daughters with his actress wife, Catherine Russoff. Katie Sagal as Peggy Bundy. He smells good. He's even making more money at the shoe store. And last night when I was rifling through his pants to get some of it, I found these. Tic Tacs! We're back. Uh, anyway, so, well, it's a musical, so yeah. the story is told through music. There's, that is... Peggy, Al Bundy's wife, has her fair share of quirks, offering him appropriate nagging about his job, hygiene, and even his poor sexual abilities. Katie Sagal brought a unique style to Peggy's character by dressing her in 60s-inspired clothing to satirize the stereotypical housewife of that era. During her audition, Sagal's own red bouffant wig caught the producer's attention, and it became Peggy Bundy's iconic look on the show, making the role entirely her own. Katie Sagal, whose father tragically died in an accident on the set of World War III in 1981, has a strong showbiz lineage, with Norman Lear as her godfather. Her career started as a backing vocalist for artists like Bob Dylan and Tanya Tucker, and she was a member of Bette Midler's backup group, The Harlettes. Sagal released three albums and gained recognition as a newspaper columnist in Mary, which paved her way into Married with Children. She voiced Leela in Futurama and starred in Eight Simple Rules alongside John Ritter before his sudden passing. In 2008, she made her mark in Sons of Anarchy, where she married the show's creator, Kurt Sutter. She recently joined The Connors, and at 69, she continues to shine, most notably in the series Rebel and her work on Futurama until 2023, with an ongoing project called Torn Hearts. Amanda Bierce as Marcy Rhodes something alive with fewer brain cells than you. But whatever it is, wherever it is, I'm sure its name is Bundy. You should be on all fours, pulling a wagon full of borax across the desert. And it still is, otherwise I guess I wouldn't be here. Um, but I have had a lot of people come up to say how much they like the show, and that means so much. Marcy Rhodes is the Bundy's next-door neighbor who has it out for Al, 
even though she's Peggy's best friend. Fans love seeing her go after Al. She often protested Al's National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood group with her own group, Feminist Against Neanderthal Guys. Amanda Beers, known for her role as Marcy in Married with Children, was more than just a cast member. She directed an impressive 31 episodes, notably season 11's The Stepford Peg. Now 64, she initially gained recognition in the 1985 cult classic Friday Night. After a hiatus from acting since 2013, she returned in the cinema blockbuster Sky Sharks in 2020. Beers, in her early 60s, married her partner, Carrie, in 2010. Though Ed O'Neill and David Faustino were the only original cast members not invited to her wedding, as she feared they'd find humor in two women in tuxedos, a sentiment O'Neill humorously confirmed in a 2013 interview. The Al Bundy humor lives on. David Faustino as Bud Bundy. We don't expect him to live very long. I mean, he's not much more than a, an eye and a foot and some hair. And I always say, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where she is. But uh, anyway, so... David Faustino played the memorable, creepy little brother, Bud Bundy, often at the receiving end of Kelly's teasing due to his awkwardness and poor luck with the ladies. While his post-Bundy live-action career had its challenges, Faustino found success in voice acting, notably as a villain in Dragon's Race to the Edge, a spin-off of How to Train Your Dragon. Interestingly, Faustino also had a stint in the rap scene as DeLille with the single I Told Ya, gaining airplay in 1992. In 2008, he co-wrote an electronic album called Hollow Dreams. In 2015, his girlfriend Lindsay Bronson welcomed their daughter. And at 49 years old, he's currently involved in a new cartoon project titled Hollywood. Ted McGinley as Jefferson Darcy. See, I wanted to prove to Marcy that I was good with money. So when her $3,000 tax refund came in, I took it and I invested it. In what? Clothes. <laughs> in this case, like with Aaron Sorkin, uh, when I was doing some of his stuff, you couldn't wait to go do the work. Ted McGinley, renowned for his role as Jefferson Darcy in Married with Children, married Marcy for financial gain while offering Al a friendly neighbor next door. He made his mark in the entertainment industry, starting with his role as Roger Phillips in the later seasons of Happy Days in 1980, and later in the hit soap Dynasty as Clay Falmont. McGinley is also remembered as the quintessential jock in Revenge of the Nerds in 1984, a role that resonated with his college days, where he was captain and a two-time MVP of the water polo team at USC. Married to actress Gigi Rice since 1991, they've had two sons. At 65, McGinley remains active in the industry, engaging in voice acting, including 54 episodes of Transformers Robots in Disguise, and recently concluding his appearance on the show Keeping Up with the Joneses in 2021. Christina Applegate as Kelly Bundy. that for one second I'm going to stay here and study when I'm just a paternity suit away from Jamaica? <laughs> Here's, this is my own fault, okay, because I started doing accents, so all the characters in any of the books have, like, a different accent. And that was, like, fun for them, you know, they thought it was funny. Now Kelly Bundy, the quintessential ditzy blonde on Married with Children, was all about fashion and her amusing clashes with her father, Al. Christina Applegate's portrayal was stellar, and she became a major attraction on the sitcom. Born into show business, Applegate accompanied her mother, Nancy Pretty, on Days of Our Lives from a young age. Her career took off with various roles, including a memorable turn in Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead in 1991. She later starred in Jesse, worked with Cameron Diaz in The Sweetest Thing, and achieved comedic greatness as Veronica Coringstone in Anchorman. Applegate's most recent work includes three seasons of the Netflix series Dead to Me. In 2008, she faced an early breast cancer diagnosis, opting for a double mastectomy due to a genetic predisposition. She's now 51, cancer-free, though she recently disclosed a multiple sclerosis diagnosis. We wish her well in her ongoing endeavors.
If you enjoyed this blast from the past and want to keep beloved memories alive, don't forget to leave a comment sharing your favorite Married with Children moments. Give us a thumbs up if you loved catching up with the cast, and be sure to share this video with your fellow fans of the Bundys. Plus, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a trip down memory lane with our channel. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.